God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. The book of Genesis says. However, St. Paul says, I do not understand my own behavior. I do not act as I mean to, but I do the things that I hate. So, it is not myself acting, but the sin that dwells in me. Lent is a journey of our returning to God. Pope Francis says, it is a journey that involves our whole life, our entire being. Lent is not just about the little sacrifices we make, but about discerning where our hearts are directed. Is my heart directed towards God or towards myself? By listening daily to His words, may God's love and guidance be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand. He measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me weighed. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade. For the water had risen so high, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river, where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba, and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which makes it fresh wherever the river flows. Every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruits. For they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food and their leaves for medicine. Responsorial Psalm The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken, the mountains plunged into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold is the God of Jacob. 
Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, at the Sheep Gate, a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda, with five porticos. In this lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you? Take it up and walk. The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on Sabbath. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>